up here. I should be, I'm like, where am I? I don't know where to look. Anyways, I'm Socially Nina. If you've reached this video, you're either watching the series of Canva designs, right? This is my Canva masterclass. This video is all about how to create your logo in Canva. Now, even if you already have a logo, you may need certain logos for programs that you're releasing or um, anything. It might be titles or images or whatever, and you have certain kind of brand things that you want to put on it. So it's not just technically for your brand logo. It's also for a logo for some of your program services, products. You can use this to design anything, right? Um, and actually, if I have some time, I'll also go ahead and throw in how to create business cards. I might do that in this video, might do it in the next. We'll see. Anyways, um, if you are here, make sure you have watched the other videos. This is all about Canva Pro. And so the first video I had was setting up your Canva for success. The next one was about creating a brand board, which is really, really important. This one, we're going to start going into more designing. Okay. So before we get started, there's a couple of things that I think you should do before you actually start creating your logo. The first thing is to get to know Canva in general. Make sure you've uploaded your um, images, create your brand kit. I'm just going to go ahead and show you here. We've uploaded, um, these are logos that I have, but created our brand colors, um, uploaded our fonts. I've actually created a brand board also. I'm going to go ahead and show you on my desktop. I created this in Canva so I know which colors, which inspirations, um, the different types of symbols that I'm going to use. But the whole goal is for me to have a cohesive brand. So if you haven't checked out my videos on how to use Canva in detail and um, how to create a brand board, I actually would start there so you have some inspiration and then we're going to go ahead and head over to we're actually not going to start in canva we're going to actually start in google so some of the things that i suggest you do is search for the word logos in general and then head over to images this is going to give you some inspiration but the main point i want to bring out is if you look at some of the uh, major brands i want you to notice something they're all simple, right? Okay, let's look at some logos from the best global brands from 2019. I'll leave the link for this below in the um, description so you can take a look also. There's a couple of things that I wanna bring out. So Amazon, there's a, basically there's a few things that you can do to spice up your logo even though you're keeping it simple. Amazon chose to do the little I'm going to scroll in a little bit. Okay, there you go. It has a smile from the A to the Z. It's a little smile. It's just an um, arrow. And then it pushed up the Z just a little bit to make it a little um, iconic, right? If you look, I'm going to scroll down. There's a couple of brands that does this. Disney actually incorporates the same kind of branding. It kind of makes you think of Mickey Mouse, right? So it's really fun. Using a font that's fun will help um, if you're working with kids or if it's you know, something that has to do with entertainment. McDonald's uses its golden arches. A couple of other things, using symbols like Cisco, just using the waves, which are, you know, um, can be for servers and things like that, right above its name. Um, looking at GE, it's simply just two letters put together with a circle with a couple of, um, I'm gonna call them swooshes in there, right? So there's a couple of things that you can do even looking at sap, it just has that angle. It's just a symbol behind or a shape behind a few letters. And if you look at the A, it's a little bit different than the other, um, the other um, letters. So a couple of things that you want to keep in mind. Keep it simple, of course, but you can do little things like little arches or little shapes or like Zara on the left overlapping the letters. You can use more than one um, font, right? Um, when you're doing your logos. Adding little colors like Nescafe adds that pop of color. Gillette just makes it italic. Adobe incorporates an A into their logo at the top. Audi, which we really see all of the time. Um, eBay uses a lot of color as well as Google, right? It's literally just um, text that they're adding color to. 
So as you're going through and looking at these fonts, you do want to make sure you're portraying a certain feeling, right? The colors portray a feeling. The type of font also portrays a feeling. Kellogg's is nice and fun. And if you think of that, you think of family and eating and snacking, right? Um, when you're thinking of Visa, you're thinking of being protected and money and, you know, really trusting that brand. Goldman Sachs is a really high-end luxury brand. So as you're going through and picking your fonts, Netflix is fun. I'm not sure if you've ever noticed the little curve at the bottom, right? Um, as you're picking your fonts, think about this. Think about what you're trying to portray. Think about the symbols you want to include. Salesforce is totally in the cloud. So it is totally in the cloud, right? PayPal has the two Ps. So on the left-hand side, it's the two Ps. Again, the blues um, portray trust, right? There's a lot of little hidden things that are going on in these logos. So I would take time to go through and look at brands that um, you really enjoy or really um, use and see what they've done with their fonts and with their logos and what their colors, all of that. And what you can also do is head over to Pinterest. Let's look at Pinterest. And you can, if you're not following me on Pinterest, now's a good time, right? Earlier I did just a test. I did spa logos, right? Look at the look and feeling. It's really whimsical. They're really serenity, peaceful, right? These words are telling a story. Same thing over here. When you look at spas, you wanna make sure that you feel really serene, right? Now, pure and simple, it's really hard to read. So, and it's really, it's just a lot going on since 20, 2001, day spa and salon. This is just a little bit much for me. So you wanna make sure that they can actually see it, right? And read it, but they also feel a certain way. So I am gonna go ahead and look for hair logos. I don't, it should be salon, but I'm gonna say hair, let's say salon. And this will be the last one before we get started. Salon logos, these should be a little bit creative. This is a little bit much, right? Coco, nail polish, hair. So again, what are you trying to portray when you are creating your logo? Now, now that you have your inspiration and you probably have your brand board, hopefully by now, I'm gonna go ahead and close some of these as I was doing my research for this. Um, but one of the things that you're gonna want to do is use the templates provided. So I'm gonna go home and there's a couple of ways to look for logos in Canva. The first way is their logo maker. So if you go to canva.com slash create slash logos, I'll include the link below. Um, you'll actually be able to go through and read an article about um, how to create logos. Now, what you wanna do is open the new logo design and then that will get you started with logos on the left. Okay, so while you're in here, you can browse according to your industry. So DJs, games, soccer logos, basketball, all of this kind of stuff. As usual, you can search at the top if you'd like. But what I like about this is I can click on see all and I could see different versions within this category. Okay, I'm gonna then go through and you can see other ones. And also I like the fact that you can click on them as you're going through to look at the type of logo. Now, before you do that, I'm gonna take you to Canva Home. One of the things that I like to do is actually look at the templates here. The reason why I like the templates here um, a little bit better than the other one um, that we just went through, the other um, direction we just went through to get to logos is here, if I click on logos, I see larger images of them. And at the top, if you notice, it has the categories. So if I'm in beauty, the beauty industry, I can see these right? So I can go through, I see larger images. This is way too busy and would never be a good logo, by the way. Um, but you can go through and see the different logos. All right. So I'm going to go back to logos. You can also go to education. If you're in education, attorneys, I'm just going to go ahead and 
click on one of them. Keep in mind if you click on the three dots, um, sometimes you'll have additional options, but you can just go ahead and use this template. And it takes you basically to the same place, but it gives you the other um, logos in that um, industry, right? So either one is fine. Couple of things, as you're going through, you wanna make sure and use your colors. So this can be as simple as choosing your colors that you selected in your brand board. And this was for, and actually let's make sure I go back. Um, let's actually choose one for, um, let's see if they have one for bars. Oh, so these are good. Okay, so I'm gonna actually create one. Ah. So the name of this company, my fake company, is Cotton Candy Martini Bar, right? So this already has the martini. Um, I'm actually gonna change this a lot. Well, not a lot, but enough. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna use my brands, my brand colors. So this is under my martini bar, right? And then I'm gonna want this one, let's use the blue color for the black background. Actually, let's use that. Okay, I don't want a background. So here's the thing, when you create a logo, you're gonna want to create it with a, um, a background that is transparent. Now, if you don't have Canva Pro, just create it as is. Make sure the background is a very high contrast to your colors so you can use an image um, background remover just search on google for image background remover and you can remove the background okay but for now i'm just going to click on the background hit the delete key and then i'm going to change these colors and remember if you've set up your canva correctly you already have your fonts here as well as up here. So I'm gonna go down and make this my Photoshop. Cotton candy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose one of my colors so I can see it. And actually I can just make this black for now until I... Martini bar. And again, I wanna choose my own fonts and I think this was, I don't know if this is gonna look good. Let's try this one. Yeah, and then might change it. So keep in mind that as you're using these templates, you can change them, but if you're not a designer, you're gonna wanna stick very closely to your original designs, okay? So let's see, I actually like this. Cotton candy, I probably would change the color. Um, another thing that you can do is you can play around with the fonts here, okay, and how it overlays. And actually, I think this is the spacing, uppercase. Okay, this is uppercase. Anyways, the point of this is that you can kind of play around. If you want, you can change. Remember I said you can change like specific portions, so I can, my mouse is messing up today, I think I need a new battery. So if you'd like, you can change this to, and I forgot, you can't do this in Canva, so what I would do is add the heading and add the C here. I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to do this, but I want to show you, you all just some options that you have. So I can change this to 40, maybe 50. There you go. And then I would go to the original text, delete the C and do some spaces. So this, I don't like the way this looks, but I just want to give you an option and you can kind of play with these fonts, right? And they don't have to be your original fonts actually for your logo. So you can pull from those. They just have to match your original fonts because you're gonna be using that in your designs. But if you wanna kind of play around with it, you can have the C be a little bit different, right? 
or you can actually change the color. And then I might move that over. So you can be really creative with how you do your logo. That might not be the best, so I'm gonna play around with this just a little bit. And All right, I'm gonna speed this up for you. I selected two different symbols. What you're gonna see me do is play around with the colors, my brand colors, put them on top of each other, and then group them. The way you group things is you're gonna select both of the items and then use the group button in the top right-hand corner. So as soon as I got the um, colors right, I selected um, both of the items by just running my mouse over it and selecting group, then I'm gonna move it. Then I can move the items as one, right? And I can reposition them. I did the opposite for this logo. I right clicked on it and chose ungroup. So each of the items, the martini glass, the cotton candy, martini bar are now separate items and I can move them and use my position buttons to move them in front and behind each other. And so this part I rushed through on the video because usually you're gonna wanna take some time to check out where whether you want it aligned to the left, aligned to the right, what do you want in front, back, you know, play with the transparency a little bit. So this, you know, again, I spared you the long design process, but in general, I'm just using symbols, placing them in front or behind each other and using my positioning and my transparency to make it the photo that I want. I'm really just creating an icon for my business. Now in this case, now that I have it together, I'm going to put it directly in the middle, but I see that the cotton candy is a little bit like kind of drowned out in there. So I'm making the background image transparent and then I clicked on cotton candy and brought that all the way to the front. Now after that, I'm just gonna play with the spacing. Do I want it on top of each other? Do I want the font size long, longer or larger? And I just kind of dragged and moved, moved it all around. Um, here's a tip if you're new to design, you're always gonna use the two arrows to resize. Okay, so I have what I want as far as my logo. So I have the cotton candy and the martini. Um, and the martini bar and it's a little symbol. I can actually use the simple symbol separately. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of ways. Actually, it's not, even though it's centered, this side is, has a little bit more space. So I'm actually going to move it to the center. So it's not centered even though it says it is. Okay, there we go. Um, now what I would do is, I am gonna copy this a couple times because remember, we need multiple types of logos. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll do it a couple times. So this time I'm gonna take the same symbols and I am going to make them all black because we need black and white. And so that means the cotton candy, I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup it. The cotton candy, I probably wanna make a little gray. If I can get back there, let's see if I can get back there. I'm just gonna move this to the back for a second so I can get to the cotton candy. And, oh, I can make that gray. So um, I'm still gonna make it black and white. So just in case, I would use another app for this, but for now, we'll just leave it in here. So we'll make this to the back all the way. This will be black. You need a black and white version of your logo. Sometimes you're doing it you're gonna be on all black or all white background or maybe it's all pink or whatever it is. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have a version of it that just has black and white and you can do the opposite and do one that is all white. It's gonna be hard, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and copy it and then what you're gonna do is as you change the colors and let's see if this allows us to change everything at the same time. It does, okay. So these symbols may not go to white. Let's 
see if it allows us to. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and label this just so I know. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to actually just copy the original one again. Let's see how many times I've done this. Okay. So that's the white version. Black logo. All right. And then this one is going to be, let's make this a square. So this is a square. But really, I would crop this where it is um, elongated. Um, you can leave this in a square here, but you may want to play around with doing something like this. No, we just want it all left, okay. Is there a space? Maybe that's why the logo wasn't adding up. So this one we want candy and you may want to look at the spacing or maybe that's you want it like this again this is your design so um, you can make it like this I'm actually gonna do this cotton candy let's do left side and I'm doing this quickly but of course you're gonna to want to make sure these line up and actually let's make these full and make this and then we're going to take these. I'm using my control keys to select, and actually I don't know how well it's going to work here. I want to select multiple items, but let's go ahead and move this over to the side. And I'm going to move these over to this side because yeah, let's do this in this instance I might want again I'm just playing around with this I would probably make this a lot bigger. Um, move this up, make the text bigger. So I would play around with it, maybe even work on the spacing here. Um, so you want a black one, a white one, a long one, um, uh, it's all square. Either way, you're just gonna kind of play with the different logos. I really like this actually. And now what I'm gonna do is I am going, and you you may want to go through with your brand colors just in case and make this like all, you know, magenta or pink or whatever. So you can play around with it so you have different um, options. Right now what I'm going to do is I do want to download it. And I want a transparent background. Again, if you do not have the pro version of, um, Canva, what you're going to want to do is just find a background remover and remove it that way. Okay, so I'm just going to download all of them. They are going to come in a zip file. So what that means is you are going to want to unzip it on your desktop to get each of the um, different files. But in the end, this is our logo that we created all on our own. So we took something that was in Canva and we made it our own by changing some of the fonts, adding some symbols, making it really, so I wanna make sure that these are all in alignment. So I would spend some more time kind of aligning them and making sure that it um, it just, you know, everything's lined up right and it looks really, really neat. This isn't something that you should rush through, but you should be creative. So use what Canva has set aside for you. And actually, I just like this one. Um, set aside for you but in the end you're gonna to want to make it your own you can change different um, fonts you can add a little symbol here you can change you know whatever you need to do to make it look and so if you have any questions just head over to Facebook and what you're gonna uh, what uh. 
So if you want more tips and tricks on how to brand yourself as a content creator, head over to my group. It's called the Content Creators Club over on Facebook. The easiest way to find it is just to look up Socially Nina on Facebook and then head over to groups. And when you see groups, you will see the Content Creators Club. We allow new members on Mondays and Thursdays. We would love to have you join the group. Ciao for now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this.